hello hello i am starting a new vlog series because i'm reading a new series that book talk recommended to me and I need to vlog my experience reading it and that series is Zodiac Academy I just finished the first one so I didn't think I was gonna like film this or anything like that but then I finished the first one I'm like I'm going to continue to read these so I need to do a vlog series my Kindle here I joined like Kindle with pop socket so here we have it I ordered physical copies so I'm gonna be getting the first three books physically tomorrow and saturday they'll be coming in um but i think with this one i might switch back and forth between reading it on my kindle and reading it physically because when i see the books i love them but sometimes i love sitting in my bed in the dark reading on my kindle so i might switch back and forth between the two and like it's on kindle unlimited so this is about twins tori and darcy they are born under gemini and mm -hmm. Their whole life they've been shuffled from foster care to foster care like they don't have a lot in the way of like things and then one day this guy comes to him and he's like you guys come with me you're actually Faye, and you have to go to zodiac academy so in this world solaria like your zodiac sign rules everything and like your horoscopes are super accurate and like a lot of things about your zodiac are going to determine things about your life so they're actually like the long lost heirs of this kingdom and they were changelings which means that they were swapped out for human twins um when they were little and they discovered that they actually have all four elemental powers and so they have to kind of navigate their way in this school except there's like the four celestial hairs of the four elements took over for their parents when their parents died and like they don't want them there so they're trying to get them out of the school so it's definitely like very brutal very kind of like edging on dark and i will say this first one was probably like a one spice one chili pepper spice but i think the next ones get spicier so i gave the first one five stars because the writing is not the best thing ever but like it's so addictive and good and like i'm just so into the plot and seeing like what's gonna happen to these girls we have alternating povs because they're twins we read from both tori and darcy's perspective and like it's just juicy it's just steamy it's just like addiction in book form so i'm starting the second one tonight but animal crossing update just released so i will be doing that first playing animal crossing catching up on booktube then i will be uh reading the second installment which is called ruthless fae which has the leo symbol on the cover here it is and so you will come along with me for my journey reading this tiktok famous book I just filmed a book haul for like the entirety of 2021. It was like the most stressful thing in my life. It should be up by now. Go watch it if you just want to share in my pain, I guess, and just see all the books that I bought in 2021. Anyways, I ended it with the Zodiac Academy books because these are the ones that I most recently got in. Um, I have the first three books because these are the ones that are on my TBR for November. Um, however, the rest of them might be on my TBR for November because I'm a dead. So in this first book, like, the twins are really getting pushed around because they come to this fey world and they know nothing about it um and it's really really brutal and they're like these supposed queens and they're gonna come like usurp the celestial heirs that have like had this whole plan in uh place for their whole life okay so i read the prequel novella and that one definitely gives you like a lot of context into like the heirs and what's going on and so now i'm about halfway through the second one ruthless fey i'm on page 248 and like finally tori and darcy are like starting to fight back against the heirs and like it's so fun seeing them coming to their powers and like trying to be conniving despite the fact that they like really don't have a lot of experience compared to the other people at this academy they don't really have control over their magic but they just have their inner grit um and like there's a lot of world building that's going on it's like really like layering the mysteries on top of one another and like i'm i just love it i'm having so much fun reading this um and so i'm gonna take you guys along on my journey but yes like i'm so excited to have it physically in my hands but what's nice is because it's on kindle unlimited like if i get tired and i want to read it in bed i just like go to the page that i'm on on my kindle and sit in the dark and read because i love sitting in the dark and reading on my kindle so now i can do that and it's amazing and like i'm just having the best time ever and i just want to be like with this series like for as long as i can like i just don't want to ever stop reading it so i'm probably gonna read the whole thing through so and the latest book that just came out was the first book told by the perspective of the boys which i'm just a sucker for that re-releasing from the man's perspective <laughs> like i just love it i'm just you know trash for it so um that will be eventually what i'll get to 
but yeah, it's fun. However, I'm like ex just extremely stressed from like just the piles of books that I have sitting at my feet. Um, so I need to take care of that first by taking a thumbnail picture for my vlog, uh, haul and then by figuring out what I'm going to do with all these books. Bye! I am wearing my favorite fall girl outfit today, so it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so quick Zodiac Academy update. I am now on page 375. So addicted. We had, there's a teacher and student romance in here, but it's university, so um, that makes it like less taboo for me. And, but it's against the rules, obviously. The teacher's not much older than the student. Um, but something just happened between them. Oh my goodness. I will say like for level of spice, this is probably like one spicy pepper, but it's getting like more spicy as the series goes on. But there's just so much going on with like all the characters and like all the occurrences. Like it's just so crazy and in depth. And like we just went to a party. So we had a party setting and like stuff went down at the party um, where the twins had to go to the celestial airs house and it just seems like there's layers to these characters and we're discovering more about them as we go along so i'm about to take the train to work today instead of the car um because i'm going to a signing after work for uh, amanda foodie and christine lynn herman so i'll like include some footage there i'm gonna meet up with my bookstagram friend and we're gonna get dinner and go to the signing together so i'm super super excited for that that means i'm taking the train into work which means i'm gonna read academy on my kindle during the commute because why else, what else would I do while sitting on the train, you know? Okay, bye. Hello, and welcome back to my Zodiac Academy vlog. So I'm on the third book. I have just been reading nothing but this series. I'm so upset. So here we have each book. And if you see, like each book has like a different Zodiac sign like on the front and on the cover. And I feel like that corresponds to like a character that each book is focusing on. So like the first book is Gemini, so it's Tori and Darcy, our main character twins. And then this one is Leo, which is Darius, and he's a dragon shifter. And this one kind of like went more into his backstory. And then in this one we have Libra, which is Professor Orion, and there's like a lot going on with him and like his story. <sighs> Just so good. So with that being said, it's Saturday and I'm currently on page 388 out of 560 about. So I have less than 200 pages to go. Like I literally read these nonstop. So the first book was definitely about like Tori and Darcy coming to the academy and like seeing how ruthless the world is and they kind of like get beaten down a bit. Um, and then in the second book, they're really like starting to do things to fight back and they do it like very subtly which is really great because the bullies don't know like what they're doing to them so it's very much like a back and forth kind of game and like the fae are just very ruthless and then in this third one it's called the reckoning so like the reckoning is like a test that all freshmen have to pass in order to like earn their spot in the academy basically so after you've had a few weeks of classes you go and you do this reckoning and in the week like leading up to the reckoning it's called hell week and the senior students basically are able to like do so many pranks and like things and just make life really hard for the freshmen so it's kind of like hazing um and each element has a trial and of course Tori and Darcy have all four elements so every day they basically have like a different trial and so that's like the focus of this book but there's like a larger plot definitely coming into play and um at the end of this is like the lunar eclipse so that's supposed to like set everyone's like fey orders because i don't remember if i went into this before in my vlog but like you're a fey and then you have your elemental powers and then you also have an order form so like you could be like a vampire a werewolf a dragon shifter like whatever kind of fey creature you are and tori and darcy don't know their order forms yet so yes but there is like definitely something emerging um after the events at the end of the second book so hopefully we'll get to know what it is soon and i think they're going to be something like we haven't seen before so i'm curious about that
So with that being said, I have packages here. I wanted to unbox these on camera, so I'm not on the address. Okay. So that's that. Oh. I thought there was two books in here. Oh my god, this book is it's so big. Oh my god. Okay. 761 pages. Also, it's interesting because the font in this one is different. I think it just depends on like when what they did when they were publishing all of them because the font's not the same in like all of them. So it could just be like whatever like company they use to publish each one. So yeah, this one is freaking like I literally thought that that was two books. Oh my god, it's so big. Like they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Oh my god. Okay, so then obviously what's in this package? Mm. Fucking huge, really big. Okay, this one actually isn't as big as the fourth one. But let's see. Um, oh, I feel like they're reformatting some of them because six, okay, 655 pages because this is like what my first one looked like and the last one, hold on. Like all the chapter headings were like this and that's what it looked like in my first edition and then the font is like this. So I have a feeling that maybe they're like going through and reformatting them or it just like depends what edition you get, like when it's printed which one you get but like also i love the feel of these like they're so floppy and it's nice because you can like read the, the nice big book and as long as you don't like absolutely like tear it open like it doesn't crease which is like very important for me reading paperback books but like yes i love these and like it's just so fun like these books are ginormous and huge but like i cannot stop reading them so if we look here's my backwards pile but like um they're so big. Um, so I just placed an order on Amazon and I, wait, I have five and then I have six coming and the awakening is told by the boys. So that's like, I don't know, 1.5. Um, and then after this one is a novella, I'm not going to buy the novellas paperback though. That's kind of like $15 for like a hundred page books. So I'll just read those on ebook. And then the seventh book is coming out in December. So obviously I'll be reading that as soon as it comes out but yeah i'm so excited i just spent all morning like cleaning my apartment doing my weekend chores so I was, but i was gonna reorganize my books today but now i'm not so i'm gonna get to reading and i'll keep you updated hello i'm going to see Hades Town the musical tonight and this is my outfit i just wanted to document it it's like super rainy so um it might not be that fun out and about but We'll see. We're gonna go see the musical and then maybe go to like a fancy bar for like a fancy drink after because like if you're already dressed up cute, you know, but I love like the sleeves on this. It just feels cute. I'm very excited. Gonna have a fun time. I love musicals. Love, love, love musicals. So I can't wait to go and watch music. I just finished the third book of Zodiac Academy. Oh my god. Um, it's definitely taking me a while to read these because they're huge. This one was 560 pages and like it was so good. It got more spicy. Like the relationships in here keep me hooked because it's always like tension. Like something will be going good and then something wrong happens and just like the overall plot. Oh, so good. And like we finally got to know what their order forms are and it was just such like a good payoff and I love the ending like it was just so explosive like the last 100 pages i was like oh my god i have to keep reading i have to know what happens and so clearly i only want to read zodiac academy this month so come over here because i just redid my bookshelf today it's my little zodiac academy shelf oh my god this book is so big um 
this is the biggest one in the series. I mean, it's like more double spaced, but still, um, is huge. Um, let's see, it's 700 something pages. Yeah, so I like this one because the Taurus is like the focus of this, which is here, and Caleb is a Taurus. So Caleb is one of the heirs and he's a vampire and he's been having a thing with Tori, but like Tori is also drawn to Darius. So I have a feeling that like this book is gonna deal with some of his character development. Oh yeah, it's also like the Taurus like constellation on the back because I like obviously recognize that because that's my star sign. So the back says, I'm gonna skip the part that's like spoilery, but the back says, the four heirs will stop and nothing to destroy the lives of me and my sister, but they haven't figured out yet we're the strongest creatures they've ever known. I just like love how unapologetically badass Tori and Darcy are and like definitely they have different personalities, but they like are just both like good characters. Like I don't know, I just love it love all the relationships like there's so much going on i can't wait to like see where it's gonna go and like obviously i don't want to be like too spoilery you know but yeah i'm excited so um it's late and i don't want to stay up late so i'm probably going to start this in the morning as always i'm going to download it on my kindle um on kindle limited because it's free i have kindle limited and then I will like be able to read it on my Kindle, like if I want to lay in bed in the dark, which I like to read in the dark a lot, or if I want to like read it at lunch at work and not bring this 700 page book and have people be like, what are you reading? And I have to be like adult spicy magic school, with, like a brutal fae to the death kind of stuff. But yeah, it just like, a lot of times in these like bully romances, like, it's hard to be believable that people are doing terrible things and other people like still want to be around them like you'd be like why are you putting up with this bully like why do you like have feelings for this bully but i feel like because of the nature of the fae you take out the human nature like part of things and it just makes everything believable and there's like a lot of push and pull with their emotions it's fantastic and so okay so here's my stack um i have books Six and the awakening as told by the boys arriving on Tuesday. So those are the last two books that I need. And then book seven comes out in December. So I will be reading that in December when it drops. It's like middle of December. So yeah, I'm just so obsessed. It's so good. It's like emotional. It keeps me reading. And I have noticed that since the first book, like the grammar and the spelling mistakes, it's gotten a lot smoother. I think the first book there were some like awkward writing moments. Um, but I think like as the books have gone on the writing has gotten better and that's probably because the authors are just more experienced in writing Maybe they got better editors. I don't know um, But yeah I just love it. Also, I love the title shadow princess It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. Like I'm just gonna be addicted I'm just gonna read this all the way through and it's gonna be amazing also today I like took time to unhaul books and reorganize my shelves and I think that that video is probably gonna come out um, after this vlog comes out. So that's just like a hint for the future but like I feel rejuvenated <laughs> from cleaning my shelves. Like it was just something that needed to be done and like my TBR cards all organized, like it's organized and I um going forward especially doing this book haul for this year i'm like wow like i actually bought a lot of books this year and like i've just been trying to be more conscious with spending not that like i feel like book buying is such a huge expense for me that i need to like cut down on it a lot but i just feel like in terms of space um i kind of like adapted this mentality a while ago and then slowly strayed away from it but i think that like for like books that I know that I'm gonna want to like love forever. I'm gonna buy them physically, but if there are books that I can read them digitally first, like getting an eARC through NetGalley or like a or a copy from a publisher, something like that, um, I'll do that first. Especially as I kind of go away from reading YA, and like I will always love YA, and I'll read YA a lot. But I've realized that I've tend to go towards like the blockbuster YA titles and really enjoy those ones. But I don't read like mid-list average titles anymore if that makes sense so 
and I found that like a lot of these books that I'm getting rid of are YA books that like weren't like these like blockbuster concepts and things that were like you know made them bestsellers not to say that you have to be a bestseller YA book because I have some bestsellers I'm getting rid of it too but like I just feel like I own I feel like I'm really tired and like this thread of thought is getting away from me but basically like I only want to be buying like the fantasy like hardcovers and stuff like this to add to my shelves if I know that it's like I'm gonna 100% love it like it would be a five star four or five star which like with me if you know me I'm a very generous reader so like most of them will be but like you know I have also my auto buy authors that I like specifically collect so like we have the e. Schwab shelf here above that's my romance shelf uh Cassandra Clare obviously I will buy anything Trisha Levenzeller Karen Maniscalco uh, Margaret Rogerson. Um, I have some other YA series that I really like over here. So we have Stephanie Garber. Haven't read that yet, but I just know that I'm gonna love it. Weirdly, Sabah so here. Uh, Chloe Gong, because I love these Violence Delights and Tosh and Yon, Like all these series, like I really love. And then my friend Blood Nash here. The Stranger Dreamer. Um, like Lee Bardugo here. Holly Black here. Kendra Blake. Um, you know, I'm just trying to figure out like what my tastes are and curate my shelves to my taste and try to not physically buy books that don't align with those tastes unless I've read them and know that I love them and want them for my shelves. So basically the idea is to avoid buying books that I think that I will eventually unhaul and while I can still enjoy the experience of reading them, I don't need to physically be buying them. That's what libraries are for. It's like using a lot more resources like audiobooks from the library, ebooks from the library. Like, I also feel like my taste is now going more towards either reading like a YA fantasy, a little fantasy, or like just straight up smut romances, which I can get most of them like very easily because most of them are Kindle Unlimited or I get them through NetGalley. So, that's my rant. It's probably a bit too long. Of a tangent because I'm exhausted and I tend to talk even more than I talk normally when I'm tired, which you can believe it or not. Also, I got this sweater from Primark and I'm in love with it. I definitely need to go back to Primark and get more clothes because it's just so cute and it's like cheap, so I can buy a lot more, you know. Like I went to Primark and I'm like, oh, I have so much in my cart. It's gonna cost so much money. And then when he rang me up, it wasn't as much as I thought it was gonna be. Anyways, I'm like on about page 50 of Shadow Princess, but. Obviously, I'm loving it. It's obviously going to take me a long time to read this book because it's probably one of the biggest books that I have read all year. However, that being said, like I love all the time that I'm spending in this world because I'm just having so much fun reading these books. I don't mind if it takes me a while. So I have the last Amazon package to unbox for Zodiac Cat specific purposes. So let's do it. I was just so confused because they added other stuff in here and I'm like, well, where is this coming from? Okay. So there's actually three books in here because there, there was an extra book that came out today and that book is The Extraordinaries by V. Schwab, which is a villain's origin story. Um, so I think this is like following some of the people that like originally got... Um, extraordinary powers in like the vicious and vengeful world and this shop has written like a few comics and i'm really excited to check this out okay and then the other item that i got in this package was this really cute headband and if you know me like i am a headband girly so when i saw this <laughs> um absolutely yes yes usually i do middle part with headbands Ugh. i don't know my hair is like being weird today yes okay so here we have the last two books zodiac academy faded thrones and this is a book Six. So I have books one to five, so now I have book six, and then I also have one other book 
which is Zodiac, Zodiac Academy The Awakening is told by as told, really told by the boys. This one has cool chapter headings as well. Some of them have different chapter headings than the other and I wonder if they're like in the process of getting um, new formatting and it just like depends on like when you ordered them if like they were being printed with the new formatting or not. I don't know. Um, however, I am always a sucker for something told from the other POV. I just think it's really interesting to see a story from one perspective and then read from it from the other side. Like, I love that. No, I have not read Midnight Sun, but that's because I'm just like past my Twilight era and I heard it wasn't that good. But um, when Midnight Sun was first rumored to be a thing when I was in my Twilight phase, like, you have no idea how much I wanted it. So anyways, so... This one has 500 pages. Like these books are so long, but like I said, I just love living in a world. And it seems like there's actually a pretty big fan base for this series from what I've seen, like I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go put these on my Zodiac Academy shelf. Oh, and then also today I got in the mail Gilded by Marissa Meyer. This is my signed copy because I went to the virtual signing event. Very lovely. So that's my update for now. I'm just gonna like literally chill and read Zodiac Academy until I fall asleep. Obviously number four is missing because I am currently reading it, but um, I'm obsessed. Hello, it is a Saturday night and I saw The Eternals today after going to this really nice croissant place for breakfast and we got stuffed croissants and I of course forgot to take footage while I was there. However, it was amazing. And we saw The Eternals and it might be my new favorite Marvel movie. I don't understand why I got bad reviews because I loved it, but I just think because it's more character driven, maybe it didn't appeal to the critics, but who cares what the critics say? I thought it was a really good movie and I really enjoyed it probably because it emphasized the characters over the action. And I just thought it was very good whole ensemble it was like getting the band back together vibes oh there is gavin behind me back to zodiac academy still reading shadow princess because she is freaking long um so it's like 750 something pages and i'm on page 518 so i actually am like a decent chunk of the way through i'm like 60 something percent but like I would literally, I mean, I literally am like reading thousands and thousands of pages of this world and I'm actually kind of like grateful that it's self-published because if it was traditionally published, it would be slimmed down and I just think there's like, there's just so much going on that I just enjoy its long form. Like I love being absorbed in this world and to keep reading. And so in Shadow Princess, I thought Shadow Princess was going to refer to Tori or Darcy, but it's actually not. This book focuses on this other character that is a shadow princess. And so that plot line has actually been really interesting and we're getting more in depth than like in the main conflict of the story um, that has to do with shadows. And um, the relationships are progressing and like the enemies to lovers like banter where like they hate each other, but then they, you know, do it, but then they still and these are all these unresolved feelings it's just done so well all the back and forth and then like the other main love stories like a forbidden love story and like i'm just obsessed with it and like i think there's gonna be like side relationships that develop because like some people like start in one relationship and maybe have different relationships along the way like the first love interest isn't always the one that like stays so it's been really interesting watching it progress, but, also, but just the overall plot and the way that it's progressing is just so much fun. I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to read for a little bit more and then I'm getting up at 3 a.m. So I'll be up from 3 to 6 a.m. to watch a concert of 17, my favorite K-pop group. This is my second weekend in a row doing it and I would do it every weekend if I got to watch a new concert from them because I love them. So that's the crazy life of a K-pop stan. Anyways, I'm gonna read this for a bit. I did nap for a while earlier, so. My little gav gav laid next to me while I napped. And I just did a PowerPoint presentation for my friend's birthday, which was super fun. And just having a good night, a good weekend, good vibes all around. 
Hello, so it's the end of the weekend and I'm so close to being done with Shadow Princess. I'm on page 720 of 760, but like I'm so tired. I need to go to bed. I think I can probably finish this tomorrow at work because I do read during my lunch break on my Kindle and I have this book on my Kindle since it's on KU. Um, but yeah, this book is freaking ginormous. I think it's the biggest one in the series so far. Um, but like I said, I've been loving every second of reading this. Like, I'm so into this world. That's why I'm doing a whole... I basically have only been reading this book this month. Like, cray cray. So I'm just going to pull this one out because it's the next one that I have to read. And this one is Cursed Fates. Um, this one is cool. Like, it has maybe like the newer formatting. I feel like they're changing like the formatting of them um because some of them have come with formatting like this and other ones have come with different formatting i don't know if it's just like depends on when you buy them that's what it looks like so i'm excited to read this this one is going to be it's like 600 and something pages but like the font is smaller and not double spaced so it, it's probably just as long will probably just take me just as long to read but very excited to be reading the series i have five six and then the awakening is told by the boys so i still have three books left which is crazy it will probably take me more than just november to read these it will probably bleed over into december however i do have off for like thanksgiving and if i'm not too busy with family stuff then i will be reading a lot if i am busy with family stuff then i will be reading less it just depends on um if we're traveling or not it depends on my boyfriend's work schedule that he doesn't know yet so We'll see, but this is what's up next for me. It's really late, so I should just go to bed. I am tempted to read just the last little bit on my Kindle in bed, but no, I think I shall go to sleep. And so that is that for now, but yes, it's getting good. Like in terms of ships, there's like a new male male ship that I now have and I like really hope it evolves into something. We also have this character who is a Pegasus, which is basically just like a shiny unicorn and it's literally like they have like glitter and like are so like just the, the girly girl dream but he comes from a line of dragons and so like his father's like really pissed that he's a pegasus and i love his storyline of him like accepting who he is as like a pegasus and like not being a scary dragon and one of my like favorite side characters i think and i just like love how there's like all these different elementals coming together and like two, the two main relationships are like very different so it's very interesting because I wouldn't want like to be following like two sisters and then their like relationships are similar you know and then we're also getting some more background into like the girls family because they really finally visited the palace and they're getting to learn more about their parents which like it's very shrouded in mystery they don't really like know them and they feel very abandoned by their parents because they were changelings in to the mortal world and then they spent their whole life growing up in foster care so up until this point like they're still too traumatized to really try and learn about them so yes there's just a lot going on in the plot and i'm going to continue on as i have been loving every second I'm about to go to work, but I just needed to turn the camera for literally two seconds and talk about how I finished Shadow Princess last night, Zodiac Academy 4, and my heart is completely shattered. Completely shattered. Like, I do not know how my ship is going to sail after that ending, and I am concerned for the way that things are going. I, of course, started book five, but like, I literally started and I'm like, I'm upset with the ending. I might need to like take a second before I start this. Um, so I'm going to work now. I'm taking the train today, so I'll be reading on the train. Exciting. But heart torn into pieces. Hello, so a quick Zodiac Academy update. So in book five, Curse Fates, um, I am on page 544 of 647. So I have about 100 pages left totally can read that tonight i definitely want to start on book six which is crazy that i have just book six and then the awakening is told by the boys and then i'll have read through all of the zodiac academy series like within the span of about a month so this is literally all that i have read 
in November. Besides, I have like one audiobook that I'm reading, but I won't even finish that in November. So today is the last day of November, so I'd really, really like to get this fifth book finished just to like end it nice and sweet and um... I just want to start book six so that I can read it and then as soon as book seven comes out on like December, mid-December at some point, you know I am ordering that and getting that sent to me ASAP and will drop everything for that book because I gonna be unstoppable. So I wanted to take a little moment in this vlog and open up a special book that I got in the mail today. I'm so freaking excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is the special edition of Ice Planet Barbarians. Yes. Listen, Ice Planet Barbarians took TikTok and all of the book internet by storm and it's just there's a reason like it's actually good despite how ridiculous it sounds and I am like committed to actually reading the whole series at a certain point. Um but there it there is a lot of them. However, I don't buy them physically. I read them on my Kindle, but if they come out with special editions with covers like this, I will be buying them all. Um, so yeah, so they were actually, the series was got so popular, it was acquired by Berkeley, which is one of like the biggest names in romance. And so I don't know if they're giving special covers to all of them, but at least one and two will get them. And then this also has the short story in the back. So I wonder if it has like a list of all of the Ice Planet Barbarian books. I don't think it does. So yes, um, I'm excited to have this in my grasp because, I mean, just look at her. She's beautiful, she's gorgeous. I love that like Book Talk has done great things for Ruby Dixon and I have now got to enjoy this wonderful romance series, which I will continue on with in the winter months. However, after I finish Zodiac Academy, I'm going to spend some time catching up on YA releases and then in 2022 kind of like lean fully in to reading like romance essentially and more adult books. I just feel like I'm not as into YA as I have been in the past, which makes sense. Like I am 26 now, like it's not really for me, even though I do enjoy the books a lot. Like it makes sense that I'm finding myself more comfortable in the adult reading spaces. However, that's not to say that I hate YA and I'm never going to read YA again because I love so, so many YA books and they're really important to me and even still relatable at my age. But I'm just saying like, that's how I feel like my life is going. Um, because I just find myself reaching for like romance type books or adult fantasy even over YA fantasy more and more. I don't know if anyone else has similar feelings, but yes, also like the new adult fantasy space or like upper YA which should be its own thing um that is also like the space that I find like really relatable um so like books like From Blood Nash I would almost say like Crescent City kind of falls into there um like just Serpent and Dove, Fury Born, like those types of books like that is my genre you know A Kingdom of the Cursed definitely this boy was new at all and that is my shit so yes but here we are that was a little rant but yeah i hopefully i will be able to update this vlog later and be like i finished number five and i'll probably be so emotionally distraught but i will pick up number six. Oh, i actually think there is a novella in between the two and it's called the big ass party which if you read zodiac academy you know what ass is are you a member of ass or whores or oh, sorry, Ores. <laughs> I am so deep in the Zodiac Academy. So also, what I wanted to point out is that Caroline Peckham and Suzanne Valenti, they are actually sisters, which is wonderful. They write together. Um, they have other series. So um, there are two other series that are connected to the world of Slaria, and then they have like other ones that are just like different. Um, They've written like 40 books together. I don't know if I'll read all of them. However, um, I'm curious to read The Brutal Boys of Everlake Prep, which is a complete reverse harem bully romance contemporary series. And that's the Kings of Quarantine one, which actually dropped like right in like March of 2020. And people are like, the timing is a little weird. There's also, what else is interesting to me? Okay, so there's The Ruthless Boy, uh, The Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac, which are is a reverse harem paranormal romance series set in the world of Solaria. 
So it's Dark Fae, Savage Fae, Vicious Fae, Broken Fae, and Warrior Fae. There is Darkmoor Penitentiary, um, which is a reverse harem paranormal romance series set in the world of Solaria 10 years after Dark Fae, so five years after Zodiac Academy. And that's Caged Wolf, Alpha Wolf, and Feral Wolf. So that is probably where I would go on to next with these authors. I don't know if I would read like every single thing that they have put out, but I definitely want to get to those series at least. But like in the future, I'm not going to like run to them yet because also they're not really like completed. So um, after the seventh book comes out in Zodiac Academy, I will be suffering until the eighth book comes out. But like I'm having so much fun binging the series like it consumes my thoughts day in and day out. Like I just love it so much. So I'm very happy to be reading it. Stay in the corner and think about what you've done. It's late, I'm a little disgruntled. The ring light is bright. I'm about to go to bed, um, but I just finished this book and I am in pain. I'm in pain. Like every time I'm like, it can't get worse. It gets worse! Like, it was so amazing and like just, I'm blown away by like how much the plot has evolved and like, I was hooked since the first book but like the writing has really improved and like the plot has just gotten so much more in depth and like I am obsessed but also in pain, my heart is in pieces, like, they're just going through it. They're going through it. However, it's time to put it on the shelf and get the next one out. Oh, <gasps> Gavin, you can't eat my bookmark. R.I.P. bookmark. I mean, it was like super cheap, but I was using it because it had my zodiac sign on it. Is Cursed Fate. And this one, I don't have the new formatting. So like some of them I have the new formatting and some of them I have the old formatting. I do wish I had all of them in the new formatting, but like, tis what it is, you know? And by new formatting, I mean like, Use chapter headings, but alas, what can you? I think I have five, three, and one in the new format, but like they're like slowly rolling them out, so whatever. They have a playlist for these um, on the internet, so I'm gonna listen to the like specific faded throne one. Bye. Hello, it's been a while since I last checked in. Um, I'm wearing this really cool shirt that I got in my From Blood and Ash box, from the bookish box, which are these editions here, um, and I love it. Great quote, Zodiac Academy, this is the book that I have been reading for this vlog. It's literally been like a month and a half since I started this vlog, a little bit less, but um, yeah, I'm getting so close to the end of book six. I think I can definitely finish it tonight. I'm probably gonna get like my Christmas tree and bullet journal, but besides that, like, I want to finish this. I actually took today off from work because I got my booster shot and I woke up this morning not feeling great, but I slept in for a while and then I got up and like cleaned my whole apartment so I just feel a lot better. And now I can settle down for the evening and read this. So I'm currently on page 503 and there's about 730 pages. So definitely doable for tonight because I read these books so fast. So this sixth book is just like, there's so much like heartbreak and uh, we're getting to the point where like I'm really interested to see how the allegiances are changing between all the characters and how like they're forming friendships with people that were once their adversaries and how they have come to understand like the position that each other is in in society and like the romance is heartbreaking like everything is just like hard right now like I'm in agony. One of the storylines that I really like has to deal with this like evil adversary that is rising to power in this book. Um, is really orderist so they are obviously like against certain orders and we have this character who's a pegasus which is one of the most common orders and he was basically told his whole life that he has to be like a strong order and he's just like learning to like embrace his pegasus self and like with the ways of the pegasus phase and like i love his storyline so much i just think it's like so cute and adds a lot to the story and i just like really love how he's like embracing his pegasus self like he's like is like yeah i have like a cloud backpack that like expands when he turns into a pegasus so like it stays on his back and like he's this huge lilac horse like i don't know 
it's just amazing and i have been seeing teasers on the author's instagram because the seventh book comes out december 18th so i will probably end this vlog and then i'm probably going to be reading that book when i'm at my parents for break so that will probably be like in my vacation vlog um but i am imagining that the end of this book is probably going to be pain and suffering so we will see how it goes so in terms of this vlog i just have this book left However, I'm going to include reading um, The Awakening as Told by the Boys in this vlog as well because this is the next book that I'm going to read and this is really interesting because uh, I'm excited to kind of go back to the beginning, get back into the world from like the beginning but from the other perspective to really like see what's going on in the characters' minds because like while they have like explained what was going on in their minds as the story goes on, I'm like interested to get a bit more like depth into their perspectives so yeah so close to the end of this book and just like not ready because like i this book has this series has literally been my life for the past month and a half and i love it so much there's actually a prequel series and then a series set in the future in this world by the authors and i'm totally going to read it it's been really nice to like as the series goes along you can definitely see that they've grown a lot as writers and like the writing has improved tenfold or more from the first book to this book so i'm like proud to be along on that journey but just like the way that the plot has gone on like these books are so long if i was not captivated for the entire time like there's no way i'd have the motivation to finish this but i just love them so much and i love every second that i'm in this world and i can't believe it's almost time for book seven and then who knows how long i'm gonna have to wait for book eight which is the last book in the series and it's gonna be tough oh so i finished this book and I have to say, the cliffhanger, of course, I don't know a cliffhanger, but the cliffhanger was not as bad for this one as it was for book five. So it kind of ended on a more hopeful cliffhanger, but still a cliffhanger, and I think the game is going to be changed dramatically in the next book, Heartless Sky, which at this point comes out a week from now. So I will probably be including that book, not in this vlog, but in another vlog. Um, that's probably going to be like my vacation vlog because I'm going to be with my parents for a while in Florida doing all the Florida things. So I will be including that book in that vlog. So I'll link that down below once it's out, but obviously it's not out yet because I haven't lived it yet. So um, yeah, but I just like I'm so surprised over like the evolution of the series, like how much depth has been added to these characters and how like the writing has just improved so much over the course of the series and how like I've it started off like oh like this is a fun little series and just so much depth and emotion and character development world development like everything has just been developed so beautifully from the beginning and i'm absolutely in love with the series which brings me to my next point which is i am reading zodiac academy the awakening as told by the boys so we get the boys perspective and with some extra content of things that were going on during this time period and it's very interesting to be thrust back into the world before all of the boys had all this character development that they've gone through to get to the point that they are in the book that I just finished that we're back at the beginning now but um you know when reading the first book like they are cruel and the authors don't like try and say that they're not cruel in the beginning but we get more of their perspective um and more of the things that we uncovered about them as the series goes on are like just here so we kind of can understand why they are acting the way that they are um and just very interesting to to see more of the politics at play and to really kind of like be it's very interesting that the authors are able to like kind of make it make sense from their perspective and bully romances are hard but like the world of the fae makes it make sense kind of um and just like more of the plot and like understanding where the boys are coming from even though like obviously they have developed and grown and changed from the ways that they were in here so it's it's interesting but like i I'm enjoying it it's always fun to get in the heads of the other characters that you don't see in the series because as the series goes on we do get chapters from the boys but in the beginning we don't so i am loving it and i am on page 308 out of 555 so about halfway through and what's interesting is even though I already know the story, I'm still flying through it. Like, it's not boring because I already know what's happening. But because I'm reading about it from, like, the complete opposite perspective, it's, like, actually really captivating me and really interesting me and just getting me ready for the next book in the series. So probably the next clip will be the last clip because I will have finished all six of the books plus the boys POV book. And it's just been a wonderful journey. I love the series. I hope you guys 
decided to pick it up after my vlog because I just think it's a great series that needs more love and attention. So I'll check in for my last check-in when I finish this book. Um, but I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. So I finally finished Zodiac Academy because I finished the last book which is The Awakening as Told by the Boys. I feel like this has been such a journey since I read this first one and I love the series with my whole heart now. And now it is actually the release date of the seventh book when I'm filming this. So I have my paperback copy on the way and it's going to arrive tomorrow when I go to my parents. So that will be in my vacation vlog that should come out after this. Um, but I just love the series with my whole heart. I think everyone should give it a chance if they like dark fantasy romance. It's amazing. I really liked how in this one we got more depth to the first book and I think because the writers have improved a lot since the first one it adds a lot more layers to the story and yeah so let me know if you okay sorry my camera cut out so I don't remember what I was saying but I just wanted to say that I had such a great time reading the series and I'm really excited to start the next one and that will be my next vlog my vacation vlog and please read Zodiac Academy if you if your interest has been at all sparked by my vlog. If you've watched this far, please leave the emoji of your astrology sign in the comments. I am a Taurus, for those that don't know. And have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys. Bye!